You know, I thought we would do one more thing before we went out and actually cut this out. Sometimes, and it, this completely depends on your comfort level with CNC, sometimes I'll run it through, um, this is Mach 3 here, but I'll, I'll run it through some sort of control program. I'll watch, I'll watch it work um, if you're doing some 3D milling. This is a great exercise. Plasma is a heck of a lot simpler. So once you get used to it, usually, and you have a certain level of confidence with your programming, um, you probably won't run every single one of them through kind of a test bench run. But uh, anyway, so here I have up Mach 3, and it's a control program. This is not the one that actually runs my plasma cutter, but I do have this on my CNC wood router, and uh, sometimes I use it on my mill as well. I like it. I like it a heck of a lot. Um, sometimes just changing over your machines is kind of a pain in the butt, so I haven't done that completely. Anyway, we'll bring it in. Uh, load G-code. If you remember, we made that tap file. Here it is. This came out of sheet cam. So we made this program. Here's uh, the G code here, if you remember. Here's all those different X and Y coordinates, you know, going through them. And I guess just to run it, simple as hitting cycle start, and it'll start going through and running through the different pieces of G code. You'll notice here's just kind of a small screen here, and I'll stop and restart this. But it's going through, and you can kind of see it moving and cutting. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. I'm going to rewind it back to the start. This time when I start, I'm going to go over here and look at Toolpath, which is a bigger version of that. Let me just uh, zero these back out. So uh, we're going to get back to home. Everything's zero, zero. We're back here at home. We'll start the cycle again. Here it goes. It's moving over. We'll watch it start into this cut. It's making that cut. We can uh, zoom in a little bit more. It's going to come around here, make this cut, and then uh, come out of the cut and move over to the next one. If you remember, these are interior cuts, and in plasma, you want to do all your interior cuts first and then do the final perimeter. So that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to follow that same path that we looked at before. It's going to go around and then here's the start of that perimeter cut. Let me just flip back over. I'm going to bump up the feed rate. I have it at 40 inches per minute. Uh, if you just hold it down or click up through them, it'll go faster, faster, faster. Feed rate is completely dependent on your machine and what it can do for cuts. You'll notice this is moving faster, and we're just ripping through our G code right here. I like Mach. Uh, it has a number of different windows open at any time, so you can really see it going. There's a stop, and we just change over to another interior cut. But you'll also see where it's relative. Wherever you zeroed out your machine, wherever you went zero zero, it's keeping track at any one time up here for you, so you can tell how far over you are or not. Now we're moving down to this final interior cut. It's going to go around, cut the guy's leg here, pop over, and now to the perimeter cut. Still ripping through quite a bit of that. We're at 5,500, and if you remember, it was uh, 11,100, I believe, was that end uh, line of the G code. So I'm just going to put it on pause here till it gets back around and start it back up. Here we're back, and you'll see it's kind of made it back around that perimeter, and it's coming in, and it's just about ready to finish up there. Now, how long does this take? How long will it take to cut? It's completely dependent on what your machine can do and the rapids it's available to do and how fast it can cut. So in plasma, if you have a heavier-duty plasma cutter, generally you can cut faster. It'll cut through thinner material and thicker material faster. Um, and you can get this entire design done. So what did we do there? Really just look at and prove out our design and our G-code. We watched it work. We watched it do the interior cuts and then move out to the perimeter and cut all that up. So we have some level of confidence before we actually go out and start burning material and using energy. 
we have some level of confidence that this is all going to work out in our favor and our program's good and uh, we use the right tooling and the right feeds and speeds and uh, it's all going to turn out. So sometimes I do that with a control program just to watch it work. So next step, we should be heading out to the shop and we'll shoot some video of cutting out this design on the plasma table. See you then.